lovely people today i'm going to teach you how to line your fabric to sew a slick give me both your for that you line the fabric to sew a slick into this is two years or this is less than two years okay so we are going to line the fabric this lining here is more than two yards this lining here is about five yards lining i didn't cut the exact for this fabric because i want to teach you something when you are going to line a fabric of two years for your slate you don't cut exactly the same uh, measurement of of the fabric with the lining you don't cut the same measurements for the lining the lining is supposed to be um shorter than the slate so that's how i usually do it okay so we'll open up the fabric this way we'll open it up and this is the correct side of the fabric so this is the correct side you can see it by the writings it tells that this is the correct so this is where we are going to do the lining from and so i've turned it into the correct side of the fabric so this is the correct side. So I'll just turn my lining, open my lining up. Then I'm going to sew the lining, attach the lining from this side, this side, and sew up to the ends here. So let me use pins to hold them for you to understand. okay so this is it so we have pinned the whole thing so it means you are going to sew up to this point okay so i have to bring it to the floor so that you understand i can spread it out so after sewing where we have pinned sewn everything together you spread it out this way and then you measure the length of your slates the measurements or the length you want i want 38 38 i'll add one inch to it to make it 39 for folding on the top so i'm going to pull this this way i will just place my tape measure here this way and then i will just measure and see if i have 38 what i have here is 42 so i'll continue pulling till I get the measurements that I want here again this is the ends of the fabric and I have 39 almost 40 which is okay because I'll use half inch to sew this to join the fabric and the lining so it's okay and so I'm going to cut it here hope you can see this is the fabric yes yeah, so I'm going to cut this off so when i get here i'll just cut this off i'm going to cut this off My cloth is serving as a guideline, so you have to be vigilant when it comes to this side, so you don't cut through the fabric. Okay, and so this is this place is not straight. I'm going to straighten it up by this. And as you can see, this place is folded up. So I need to straighten this iron it so I'm not going to cut it through exactly so I'll just leave some few inches there so 
so this is it so when i iron on top everything will be okay for me and so this is it so i'm going to sew this part i'm going to sew this and i'm going to sew all this together then i'll show it to you okay so i'm done sewing both sides sewn this place on this place also you see i'm done sewing both sides so you have some of the fabric at the ends here and you also have some and you also have some at the ends here so this is it now after this the next thing you are going to do is you are going to determine which one is going to go to the upper part and which one is coming down and this one is very important when you are using fabric that contains some specific part and that shows up and down then you need to but this fabric it doesn't matter which one goes up and which one um, comes down now if your fabric the pattern has this indication where one side is supposed to go up and where one side is supposed and where one side is supposed to come down then where it's supposed to come down is supposed to have much of the fabric there and so let's say i'm going to use this part for the down part of my sleigh this is going to be the down and so this is this is going to be the down this part is going to have much of the fabric compared to the upper part okay just make sure everything is straight so i'll just measure what i have here so from where the seaming line is i measure i have almost five i have five point five point zero one i have five point zero one and then when we come to the upper part here i have um less than um two inches so which is okay for me i'm measuring because at the end of the day i want what i'll get here to be exactly at the other ends if you don't measure and you just do a guesswork you realize that you have maybe five inches here and then the other part of it which is this place you might have either four and a half or less than five inches or four inches and when it happens this way or when it happens that way you are going to have your lining at the end of the day you are going to have it crooked you are not going to get a straight lined fabric it's going to be crooked so when we measure the down here what i have here from the uh, seaming parts i have um five five point zero zero one and so i'll pin it this is what i have so i'm going to pin here I'm pinning so that it will not shift. I'll pin here. Okay. Then I'll come to the other side of it and also measure the same thing here. So I'll measure here. This is, you see. This one I measured is five and a half. So I'll pull it and get so okay. I need to pull it a bit. So pull it a bit and get the exact inches. So it's the same now. Okay, so I'll pin this part also. Now, if I get this side, the down part, both sides correct, the upper part doesn't matter because at the end of the day, it's going to have the same measurements. Okay. And so, this is it. This way. So, I'm going to have it this way. I'm going to have it this way. This is it. I'm going to have it this way so this is less than two inches here and then when i come here to is the same the same thing and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to sew this part this part i'm going to sew it all to the end here i'm going to sew it all through okay okay so i'm done sewing 
this part i'm done sewing as you can see okay so you're going to the other part of it and this time around this part i'm no i in order for me to be able to turn it inside i'm not going to sew everything from here to here i'll just sew from the down part to somewhere here so i'm leaving this part for turning in so i'll do that and show it to you okay so this is it up to this point and i'm going to turn it inside this way so i'm just trying to make sure that the corners will come out very well so this is the open part okay this is it we have lined our fabric very neatly and everything is straight it's not crooked so this is the open part now what you are going to do is we are going to fold the open part inside this way and then we'll sew on top but before i do the sewing on top i will first iron everything out get everything straight before i fold the open part in and then sew and close that area okay guys so this is it i've closed this part the open parts and so this is it so this is how we line our fabric for our slate and this after this way whether you are using it for eight corners six corners four corners or pencil you will line it this way then after you use it for what you want to use the kind of slate you want well another method of also doing this maybe you said that that what we just did is very stressful. So the method of line the slate is your fabric, your two yards of fabric, you will fold it this way and then you will determine the length. So you fold it this way, then you measure your slate length. Maybe the slates you are using 40 or whatever. So if you measure and it's not up to this one, it's 37. And so you pull till you get your length plus your allowance that is one inch at least one inch allowance for folding on the top let's say i'm using 36 inches for the slate length the so i have 37 here which is okay then after where you folded on top this is it you are going to measure from the starting point here the starting point here to where you are folded on top this line so this is 28 and so it means you are going to need a lining length of 28 but you will not cut exactly 28 you will add at least half inch to eight half inch make it 28 and half because you sew this part so you get a lining length of 28 and a half then you measure the breadth of it that is the weight and this one the weight is 50 sauce and so you get exactly width 50 sauce or breadth 50 sauce and then the length you get 28 and a half then you attach it from the right side of the fabric then you do the same way use the method we use in attaching the other one so both sides and after you measure the inches you want it at the down part and then the inches you want it at the upper part of it and then you sew and complete it like the way we did the other one and so this is how we line a fabric for our slate thanks so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing like and share the video